Welcome to the fourth video in the five-part series, Kettlebells for Bodybuilding. This is a collaboration between Kettlebell Kings and Mind Pump. By the way, you can find the awesome kettlebells you'll see in this video at kettlebellkings.com. Now we're gonna show you a chest superset, specifically to build chest muscles. The two exercises we're combining today are the kettlebell bridge press to the close grip push-up done on kettlebells. You're gonna love it, check it out. Adam, always sitting down on the job. <laughs> you know what's funny, Adam, as a physique competitor, I mean, you've incorporated kettlebells in, in, into your kind of bodybuilding type stuff, but the one muscle group I never see anybody use kettlebells for is chest, Yes. which is a huge mistake. Because right. kettlebells are very unique in the yes. way that the, the weight is being placed and you can really get a lot of pec activation. Uh -huh. And Adam, this is actually an exercise Yeah, these are two, showed of, us. two of my favorite that I, that I like to do. And there's a couple reasons why I like it too. Of course, we're, we're working on the chest and that's primarily our focus right here. But there's extra benefits too. So we're gonna do this from a bridge position on the floor. So once again, we're working on that hip extension, which I feel like a lot of people are lacking there. This is, so when I first get in that position, it's important too that you focus on that before you get into your press. So I'm gonna lay all the way back down where my, flat, my back is flat on the ground. I bring my feet, my knees are bent at about 45 degrees. And then I'm gonna take my hips and I'm gonna bring the hips all the way up. So my glutes are activated, I'm squeezed. So I have a nice neutral spine. And this changes the angle of the, of the press because now you're allows pressing. Me, yes, it allows me to get a lot deeper into my chest press right. now. So yeah. I actually and have you're a You're nice and retracted that way too with your shoulder blades. Absolutely, so it pulls my shoulder blades back. Now when I come up and press, just like if I was doing a chest Excellent. press, I come in, I'm keeping the elbows a little bit tighter than what I normally would like in a flared out traditional bodybuilder press. Come in, squeeze the chest right back down. I'm just barely letting my elbows touch the grass before I come out. I'm gonna keep tension on the chest the now, entire time. Now here's the time. thing, the kettlebells are slightly to the outside of his arms. That's gonna give him a little bit of resistance pulling out. And of course the chest wants to pull in. Right. So at the top of the movement, you're gonna feel more of a squeeze going to come up. You're gonna feel more of a squeeze, squeeze right than you there. will with, a, with traditional dumbbells or barbells. It's different, again, it is different, different, different is good different. when it comes to building muscle. We're gonna get about 10 to 15, then right after our 10 to 15, I'm gonna come up. Turn over. I'm going to get the, get kettlebells, the our kettlebells in close and tight, and we're going to get a close grip press right here. So when I do this, what you want to do is you want the elbows tucked in tight by your right. side. You're going to keep them from flaring out. We're really working on range of motion with this uh, exercise in particular just because of what it allows as far as travel goes. It's, so, it's going to give you a much deeper range of motion deeper. than traditional push-ups. This is all, it's going to target a lot of the chest and a lot of the triceps. So we're going to get triceps involved here because how deep we're going deep and keeping the elbows stretch, in tight contraction and good up. chest. So I want to come in. I want the, the kettlebells pretty close together. I'm going to get in that push-up position. Now, you have to stay stable, by the way. You don't want to flip a kettlebell while you're trying to do this, <laughs> no, right? No, no, no. Yeah. Yes. That's why I want to make sure those shoulders are lined up over your wrists so that way everything is focused straight down, straight up, so you're now not look at that pressing range of, forward. Look at that range of motion. That's, That's amazing. much deeper than you would with a traditional Much push deeper. And so this is the second exercise in this, in this superset. And Adam can do this because he's built up that range of motion. So your average person, it may take a little while to get that kind of depth. So right. work your way down, make sure you can keep tension and control. Well, this is also why we encourage this, especially with our bodybuilders, because they tend to shorten the range of motion up yes. in all their movements. This is another great exercise that's gonna cr create and promote good mobility and good flexibility, good range of motion, which overall is gonna help benefit. Which the builds the entire muscle, right? That's, that's what's lacking. A lot of times bodybuilders, they neglect the fact that more range of motion equals a better, well-rounded muscle to work that's with. That's right, I mean, I challenge people watching this to try this combo out and see how it compares to your normal chest exercises. I think you'll be surprised. Again, starting with the bridge uh, chest press with the kettlebells, do your, do your reps there, immediately switch over to the push-ups here, and then rest, and then repeat again. Maybe three to four sets, yeah? Yep, excellent. Perfect.